Well, well, what has the cat dragged in today? It's a video tutorial sequence on making a stealth action game. Of sorts. As always, the goal of these videos is not to show a step-by-step, -step, here's exactly how you make this perfect game, but rather the intent is to show you the theory and the logic that you need to get certain things done in Unity. So this is going to be a fairly simple stealth action game, but it's still going to be quite a bit more complex than anything we've done so far in these sequences. Rather than just simply trying to describe this game to you, I will bring up a build that I have of what the final target should look like. So we are going to have a third person controller it uses tank controls, so I am using A and D to rotate, W and S to move. There is no jumping, so sadly I cannot escape this level. And there are guards. If I enter the vision cone and the guard can see me via a ray trace. Oops, not quite close enough. There we go. They will navigate around obstacles to pursue the player to where they last saw where the player was. And if they cannot see me, so here the guard obviously cannot see through the wall, then nothing happens. So now I can wait and whoop, he saw me and I was able to dodge everybody somehow. So even after being seen, uh, you can dodge them. That wasn't exactly an intentional uh, display of the game mechanics, but there you go. And the goal is to find this little chicken and run into him, and you win. Now, it might not seem like a lot. There's a lot of little pieces that got to go together just right to get all of this working. Before we get into the actual logic... Let's go over what needs to be done to make sure that the project is set up and ready to go. Because there are some specific asset packages that you are going to need. First and foremost, you are going to, of course, need Bolt. Because we use Bolt for all of our logic. Keep in mind that as of the time of recording, there's two places that you can get Bolt through the package manager. There's the Unity registry and the My Assets section. Depending on the version of Unity depends on where you get this from. If Bolt shows up, let me switch over here real quick. If Bolt shows up in your package manager under the Unity registry, that is where you should get it. I am using 2020.2, so as you can see, Bolt does not show up for me in the Unity registry. If you are using the most recent version of Unity, you should see Bolt in the Unity registry, and that is where you should download and install it from. We are also going to want to get the Polygon Starter Pack, which is a free asset. It contains these lovely little models that we can use for the player and the enemy. And comes with some pieces that we can use to construct some basic levels. We will also need the Basic Motions Free Pack for animations, because the Polygon Starter Pack does not come with animations. Finally, and a bit of an optional one, we need this chicken. Now, this uh, Polygon Starter Pack has more than enough items in there that, technically speaking, I really don't need the chicken for the goal, but come on, it's an adorable chicken. And I like using this chicken whenever I can. So I am using the chicken, gosh darn it. And so you'll need to get this imported in if you want to have the chicken as a goal. Make sure, before continuing on to the next video in the sequence, that you have all of these things installed and ready to go. You have the motion pack, 
you have Bolt correctly installed and configured. Remember, I use programmer naming for my uh, Bolt naming conventions. You have the chicken and you have the polygon starter set. Once you have all of those set up and configured, you're ready to move on to the next video in the tutorial sequence where we're going to start taking a look at getting our test scene set up. And so, until next time.